Hey, we're, we're Fickle, Fickle friends, friends and you're watching Forge TV. So we're here with Fickle Friends. How are you guys? Good, thanks. Really good, thank you. So this is your biggest headline tour ever. How has it been going? Um, it's been great. It's like sold out mostly, which is pretty rad. Mm -hmm. Very fun. <laughs> um, you have been recording your new album in LA. Um, we did, yeah, yeah, we did like a part of it in LA last year, which is really cool. And we've just kind of been doing the second part <coughs> of it back here in the UK. Right. Yeah. Has the American vibe like affected your music? Um, I don't think it's affected the music, but we spent like a month there at the beginning and it was like a new headspace and we wrote loads of stuff and it was really fun. And yeah, it's just like a different vibe out there. It's kind of like nice weather every day and <laughs> exciting stuff going on all the time. Do you um, prefer the UK or, or America? Prefer the UK, but just because we it's just what is the norm. We but loved LA for a bit and then we got too hot and we got a bit... We kind of a bit homesick and that, yeah. so it's like we just want to be back. <laughs> I can imagine you like rainy days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how how does it feel to have a label now? Because you've been you had toured without a label, and now you're mm -hmm. signed with Polydor. So what's the difference between no labels and a label? <laughs> um, we had to do it all ourselves before, because we had no money. We still have no money, <laughs> but um, we now kind of have the luxury of you know having our tour manager who basically just like organizes our lives, which is great. Um, and we have like a bit of help and you know it's, it's it's kind of makes it way less stressful and means that we can focus way more on like the actual show and making it good and you know that developing i guess mm. so out of all the members of the band who's the fickle friend who's the ficklest of friends <laughs> i don't know who's the ficklest you allowed to say chris because at ev any opportunity chris goes off with his mates and leaves us birthday today so. <laughs> yeah but he always does it it is his birthday today so i mean there's no real fickle friend no real fickle friend i don't think so it's more of an ironic thing <laughs> or equal mm. so uh what's been your favorite place nah. to play for the moment um bristol there's been like a few dates which have yeah, been yeah. really really good bristol and leeds i think have been my faves yeah i think so they were just they were just so great all of it's been good like it's just a different whole different ballpark when it's a sold out show because you know the vibe is there it's busy um everyone seems to know all the words to the songs now everyone wants to meet you afterwards yeah it's been really cool mm -hmm. do you recognize people in the crowd following you <laughs> yeah well it's because we've been you know doing this for a, a while now there's like little groups of like fans who come to certain shows mm. i wonder if marius is coming this evening i think I think he is. I think Marius. There's like a group of kids from Birmingham <laughs> who we love. They're so great. And they've been like fans since the beginning. And they come to like every show that's kind of close enough to Birmingham. So they go to Sheffield. They do Nottingham. They do Lincoln. <laughs> they do Bristol. Close to Birmingham no. They they go anywhere. <laughs> so I think that maybe one of them has a friend who's at uni or something. Oh, that's they're they crashing the couch surfing. Something like that. That so was very... They come Sheffield's London amazing as well. though. What's that? Sheffield's amazing though. A yeah, lot of people come here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, for all the students out there that are watching you, what would be the best bit of advice if they want to pursue a musical career? Um, advice. Usually advice is, is usually like be prepared to be poor and stuff, but that's not really advice. That's kind of more. Be prepared to be poor. There's no, yeah, there's no like advice. real advice for it. It's like you can't, you can't shortcut your way anywhere. I think is the main advice because so many people, like I knew from music school, thought they could shortcut their way through things. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> and yeah. like you can't just get a record deal immediately. It took us so long, and like you can't just expect it to happen. And mm. you have to like the very core of it, just have a good song or have, be able to write good songs that are gonna relate to people or speak to people, have something to say. Don't just kind of write something for the sake of writing it. Have, what are you trying to say to someone? Do you know what I mean? And that's what's gonna react the best, I think. Right. So, so you've just released an EP? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hard to be myself. That's a single. That's a single. single. Yep, and then there was an EP before it, Ooh. the glue EP. Different things. <laughs> Different things. But all at the same time-ish. <laughs> um, is, is it an inspiration, is it an inspiration, is it an inspiration like personal inspiration? Hard to be myself. To be myself. Um, yeah, it, that that's kind of, it's very literal. It's, you know, wanting to feel like you're someone else in a situation that makes you kind of go into inside your brain a little bit. You know, feel like anxious or a bit weird and 
you know how having like a couple drinks can help you come out of your shell or just like someone who knows you inside out and knows that you get like this can also have the same effect on you right. so that's kind of what it's about all right so, so have, have you ever played, played in sheffield, sheffield before? before yes mm-hmm. we did the lead mill lead for our last show Iconic. which what is fun was the bar was that that one there was like a bar and it was for diy magazine yeah, bungalow. I was about to be like bears something. Yeah, we yeah, did, but we did so a thing cool. for DOI at Bungalows and Bears, which was really, it was really cool. It was, yeah. I liked it a lot. But that was our first thing we've ever done in Sheffield. Yeah, yeah it's a very cool bar. Very yeah, nice. Like well, thank you for speaking to us. Uh, good luck for your show tonight. Thank you. <laughs> we'll probably be there.